Welcome back to The Watch. And just when you think we were done with Hogwarts Legacy, oh no. What? Who said we were done with Hogwarts Legacy? Tyrant loves we are Hogwarts not, Legacy. We're not done with Hogwarts Legacy. See, we drive in the morning together, and every morning... Don't he, tell he always, them that. He always just sits, looks out the window and goes, Goodness, Nathan, I just can't wait for Hogwarts Legacy. I can't wait to play this game on my Steam Deck. I can't wait to get the three curses and to just murder everyone! Not actually, but you know. You're uh, goddamn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the consensus online for a lot of people. Everyone's very excited for this yeah, game. It's, we are. The studio has been hard at work for years now, mm. and they've made some good stuff in the past. However, despite this, yes. despite this, um, people still want to cancel it. They do. And we thought that we'd take another shot. We've already done a video before on this. You guys can watch that if you want to. But I think like that one kind of turned There's into... so many jokes I want to make, but it's like, this is spicy this territory. This is a spicy one. We'll be yeah, very yeah. careful with what we say because, you know... Don't uh, worry, we'll just beep out entire <laughs> section. We we'll just won't leave it in, honestly. Because he, here's the honest truth, right? People have gone way too far ahead in terms of trying to cancel this game or boycotting this game or basically making anyone who plays or wants to play it uh, a villain and a problem in our society. Yes. And, I mean, well, there's a couple of responses, but my favourite one is just, mm, yeah, I'm going to play that game, 100% that game. Yeah, yeah. That's the response. Because if you wanted to equate supporting the game to supporting some random individual's you know, views mm. just because they made the IP and they they get royalties from it. I mean, man, have you really got to look into some other stuff out there? Because this is not like uh, a singular event. Like no. this happens a lot with a lot of people that you probably don't like. And things that I probably don't like. Yeah, that, that you, you probably don't, don't like. And with things that are a lot more of an issue compared to a game and an author saying stuff, you yeah. know, not being an ally to certain groups. Like, and like actual awful things that they do. And the thing is, I am sure that there are elements in the game that I'm not going to like that are pretty... Um, on their side, actually. On their side, yeah. yeah. But we're missing it because we're basically like, yes, I can play the game. I can defend myself playing the game. So yeah. I feel like we're missing that. And I'm sure once we get the game, we actually start playing through it. There'll be aspects we won't like. Yeah. But I'm still going to buy the game and I'm still going to play the game. Yeah. And I think, um, look, here's the biggest thing with this like cancel cancel culture type thing everyone's saying like if you stream the game this is the main thing i think that has kind of embarked <laughs> us on making the second video basically streamers are getting held hostage if they play this game what do you think should we stream the game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like uh, and, and this is the dumb thing right i feel like there was like oh you're, you're giving jk rowling a platform you're giving her power you're reaffirming her ideas and i have to say you guys are basically doing it every <laughs> single time you're goddamn right <laughs> <laughs> well, but here's the thing. You don't agree with everything J.K. Rowling has said. Oh, this done. is the thing. Is she is like, uh, it's one of those things where like, I don't want to get too spicy, but it's like, she's on the enemy team. Th th that's she, her. She was progressive up to a point. She is on the team of all these people that are attacking her. The they are her people. This is who she's courted. Like, did you know Dumbledore's gay? Did you know that? Did I you know Ron, uh, Harry in the in the this that's how she is. Every Hermione was never said to be a, a certain color. It's even though she was in like some of the books. If don't worry, if there's something progressive about Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling will tell you. She will unprompted tell you. Like this is one hundred percent her people, mm. and they are crucifying her because of her uh, feminist values. You were you were marching with these people in lockstep all the way up till they got to your red line, and then you go, I don't want to cross that red line anymore. Yeah. And now they're trying to crucify you. It's like, sweetheart, you were crucifying other people for <laughs> for what you were doing beforehand. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's, it's it's just. I don't like J.K. Rowling. Yeah. No, I don't really like her either. Like uh, yeah. when she started basically retconning stuff with you know Dumbledore and stuff. None of that. I never needed to know any of that information. Like, it was purely just... I don't care. ...virtue signaling of, like, look how great I am as an author. I'm progressive because this no. character who, you know... And look where that got you. Look where that got you. It, it, it was just... For me, I was like, okay, sure, this... I, I haven't gone back and seen Harry Potter in a while, so I can't really judge it in my modern sense of... I'm curious, what's your favourite Harry Potter movie? It depends on what mood I'm in. I know that sounds weird, but, like... Because the last ones, especially, they're very epic, they're very dark, but I do like that intensity. Well, the thing is, like, 
how epic are they really? I mean, Voldemort. Well, back in the day, he couldn't okay. even take over a little school. This like, was I mean... before Ender's Game and before Infinity War. Okay, oh, okay. this was like the first big like part yeah. tour of things. I'd say mine is. Oh, sh- but I like Pri- Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, I like that one. That was my favorite book. Mm. I, read, I read the books. So that was my favorite one because it was just very slice of life. Like it was fun. Um, but out of the, I think probably the second movie. I think. The Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets was my favorite movie. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it still had that magic that John Williams had with like the score and it's still yeah. colorful and like it got kind of dark, but it still had this like element of hope where like yeah. afterwards it just got more and more depressing. Yeah, it's a solid choice. Very solid choice. So back to Hogwarts Legacy. Also the game. I had the game. Talking about games, I had Prisoner of Azkaban on, on the Xbox. Really? That was a <laughs> difficult game for an eight year old to play. I'm sure he managed. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't finish it. But like, it, yeah, uh, this is why I'm excited for this upcoming game. Is Are you going to play it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you it. You haven't even finished God of War yet. Ragnarok. Yeah, but um, I haven't finished. Are you going to get a Steam Deck? Um, I need to get other things first. I, I know you need to get other things I first. Other things. But I mean. But when the day comes that the Steam Deck is just, you know, in JB Hi-Fi, which is like a best buy for us. Or it whatever. already is. No, it's online. Not, it's though. online, though. That's but it's still available. I'll probably I'll get around to it, okay? okay? I've got savings. There's just a lot of things I've got to consume and do. Okay? A lot of things in the background. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of things going on. So will I like to have a Steam Deck? Yes. Good. Do I want Hogwarts Legacy? Yes. Good. Because I want to support the developers. Oh, I don't and, care about that. Oh, I, I want to support the developers because like <laughs> these guys have... I, I'm, a, I'm an indie guy, okay? I love... I make indie games. No, actually, I want to be very clear about this. I will give them some props. For what I've heard so far. Yeah. First and, off, it's no online requirements. Yeah. So I don't think there'll be any DRM. I give massive props for that. I I shouldn't even have to give props for that. That no. should just be standard. Given, but yeah. it's not. Now I feel like... <laughs> What's the thing I was going to say? Although we're praising it a lot, mm. we have to remember it has not come out yet. Yes. And we want to still give ourselves a bit of leeway room to be like, if it comes out and it sucks and it's terrible, we still have complete you know, freedom to be like, okay, actually that game sucked. I think it's what like... I, I'll be, I think that I, what I won't like about the game is the actual story. Mm. I've got a feeling that I'm not going to be into that. I'm not going to care about all. Like, as long I... as the game is technically proficient yeah. and it has no like game break, no Fallout 76 bugs. Yeah. I think I'll like it just regardless because of the open world aspect yeah. and what I've seen of the gameplay. If it has the elements kind of like I think of Elden Ring, like it's just very open. I can go wherever, do whatever, yeah. and just enjoy like my little st- sandbox world. If yeah. it's like that, I'll be happy. I don't, I don't want a cyberpunk world where everything is just like loading in slow, clunky, and nothing is like yeah, fun yeah. to play. Yeah. Um. But yeah, if it is a good game, I'm not gonna. I'll probably play through the story, but like I'm not playing for the story. I'm playing to ride around in a broom and and do magic okay. and whatever. Like. <laughs> The story for me doesn't matter. Again, it's it's mechanics. This is this is the so, one. So if I'm laughing randomly, it's because before we did this video, we we're looking at memes. Uh, oh, yeah. and I've just got them all in my head. And we I got wanna... some research on Twitter, and with that, we saw some funny memes. But which we can't we, show we them. We can't show you because we'll get demonetized. You will judge our characters because, <laughs> 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 like, it's true. There were things I laughed at, and I was like, mm. Nathan, you should probably question yourself about laughing at something like that. Yeah, so that's kind of our consensus and thoughts on on the situation. Yeah. I thought we should kind of... Because here's the thing. Harry Potter is the center of attention right now in terms of what they want cancelled or boycotted. Mm-hmm. Once it comes out, I reckon sales will be fine. Sales will be fine. Okay, number sorry, one, sorry. Number one no, on Steam, PS5, and number two on Xbox. This thing is going to be huge. It. The prob- boycotting is not going to do anything. Oh, yeah. um, but they're just going to move on to the next thing. <laughs> I just don't think, like, I feel like this is the the definitive battle. Like, mm. obviously, they're going to still, they're not going to shut up after this. No. Of course they're not. We're already seeing the sales, and it's not even out yet, and they are monstrous. Mm. So, it's just done um, some of the things I've, I've read on Twitter, just being like, if if you buy this game, then you're supporting what J.K. Rowling has said in the past. I can't say anything. Like, but, like, just, let's break that, how, like, break that down, how dumb that is. If you play some of the defenses we saw on Twitter as well was like, well, if you play any Blizzard games, then you are reinforcing sexual assault and harassment because that's what the developers, the developers, and that's the difference, right? Developers are kind of separate from... Developers are just above the game. JK Rowling is like 10 10 uh, spots removed. Sure. She might get a, not even a bump, but like she'll get a, a penny's worth. In terms of royalties compared to her bank account already is what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know. Like... 
she's I, under, I understand what you're saying. She's yes, filthy she's rich. filthy rich. But I feel like this game is going to so, sell so well yeah. that it's like... Well, for numbers, I, uh, what I'm saying is everyone else is going to be like, that's a lot of money. And she's going to be like, okay, that's just like... I don't know, man. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, like, is she that what, rich? Let me think about it. How, how much did like the Harry Potter movies gross? That, that were a lot. But like this game might be... I mean, it might make more than the movies for sure because like, we've got more gamers and I stuff don't now. Think like, maybe we'll get some numbers at some point. But like for now, I think it's going to do good. Like real good. I agree. Good. All I'm saying is that she's already filthy rich. Whether or not you buy or don't buy the game is not going to affect her at all. Oh, of course. Yeah. And like even with the messaging thing, you think boycotting this game is going to stop her from talking? Do you think that people aren't like going to stop her? Like if anything, you're just doubling down on this idea which makes you look more stupid. And like... Do you think me not buying the game is going to make me an ally to someone? Well, the thing is that's really baffling about it is that they attached it to something like a game. Mm. Why wouldn't you attach it to something like a book? Or I'm the not... movies, like the Dumbledore series. No, oh, oh, oh. I think I've seen something vaguely on that, but I, I, mean... don't, I don't care enough to God, look into that... it. But attaching it to something like a game where it's like even people who don't care that much about Harry Potter are going to buy it because it looks like a good game. It's like, yeah, it's this Harry is like a... Not even uphill battle, an up mountain battle. Like you, why would you choose a game? Choose something a lot easier to like that people won't care as much as about. Mm. Because we get very little good games in a year. Like uh, you get a couple. We get a, like selection, small selection. Let me be very clear about this: AAA games. We get very good AAA games. Very few of them a year. We don't get a lot like indie stuff. AAA games only a couple, and this looks like it's going to be one of them. So all the AAA games do gangbusters because mm. there's not that many of good ones in a year so i just think they're an idiot for mm. attaching themselves to a game like yeah. why try and boycott a game choose well, anything else it'd be kind of messed up though if they like did the books because then they'd have to stop like schools from stocking them libraries from stocking them yes. but a game is just like it's everywhere like yeah it's you can't digital like you yeah. there's no stopping it no you so, can't what have you got for us here, Nathan? I also want to talk about um, one of the dev one of the people who worked on the game that basically left because he got attacked online um, by it. And I did some research because people were calling him um, a misogynistic, um, anti-feminist. Think of all the other words you can think of. Mm. Um, basically, calling him that. Here's the thing, right? You're saying he's the lead developer. Yeah. So some, he's, some articles. So, so he's the leader, right? Some articles were saying he's the the lead developer or the lead this or that. Basically painting him to be the head of this project. Mm. Look at all these awful things he's done. Yep. Um, he's actually a lead producer. And for those who don't know, producers are basically managers. Yeah. So he doesn't make anything. Yeah. He, his job is to make sure everyone else does their job. Yep. He doesn't make any decisions in terms of what's in the content of the game. Yeah. Um, make sure, like the fact it got fired and then it got cancelled, not cancelled, like delayed three or four times, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe. Yeah. <laughs> they got rid of someone who was doing their job right. Yeah. And his videos are like, I guess it's similar to ours. I would say they're even... No, they're not even similar to ours. That's not right. Um, they are way more centralist, if not more left-leaning, than our content is. And he got he basically left from being overly attacked. He did a video on um, John Lasseter talking about how, you know, obviously, you know, he got yeah, yeah, kicked yeah. out of, of um, Pixar for for stuff, basically saying, you know what, give him a second chance. He, he went says, to Apple, didn't he? Yeah, he went to Apple. And, and did the, the luck movie. The yeah. luck movie, yeah. Um, basically did a video on, you know, give him a second chance, mm. let people be redeemed from their actions. Oh, no, people can't be redeemed, Nathan. That, that's... That's unthinkable. Like, yeah, you yeah we do can't that. do that. That's where we use an unforgivable curse on them. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> Harry Potter, which is J.K. Rowling connected, and you are supporting her claims. Oh, I guess. By I, using uh, it's the three curses. No, it's copyrighted. I have to pay her some money. Yeah, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> pay her <laughs> Um, and so it's just funny again watching this. They, they watch this person's videos and then they start. And like, I watch his videos, right? And I think he's either very centralist or very left leaning. He's not a modern pro feminist, but he's like a traditional pro feminist of like equ uh, equality and whatever. Yeah. Like, he was very just a toned down guy, I guess. Like, he was not anything what the media and articles were saying that he yeah. was. Yeah. And all it took, like, they even again, proves that they don't do not do their research because they couldn't even get lead developer to lead producer right. Those are two very different jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they got that stuff wrong. So just pointing out again, actually, one thing he said, which I was like, oh, okay, that's that's pretty good. You know, even though I don't agree with anything that you're saying in terms of, you know, him trying to defend himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, don't let others make uh, form your opinion for you. 
Wow. Like, he was so profound. What, well, he was just being like, hey, you guys are like reading all these articles and having your own opinions of, from these other guys. I have your own opinion. Yeah. Which we kind of say the same to these guys too. Watch us yeah. form your own opinion. You know, we don't have to agree on everything. Mm. We know because we read the comments. Yeah. The Mando's not a bounty hunter anymore, so why the f*** does he need a... Di <laughs> He's still sensitive about some of those ones. Anyways. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it, it was just interesting reading through that and being like, wow, these people just, they ex explode and they try to find something to latch on to yeah. for there to be a problem. And they failed. I mean, they failed. Like <laughs> They have. Like, but even, what were they trying to accomplish? Boycott the game. So what? It sells... Moderately so okay. Sells less, and J.K. Like, Rowling doesn't do anything. People lose their jobs. Like she's still rich. She's still gonna talk. And you People, like, like the game still would exist. Mm. Uh, I would still play. I would still play it. Like, and here's the other thing too. And I think this is the biggest detriment that these people kind of forget to realize. You are reminding people all the time about this game. Yeah. Like I, I think of games. I remember there was one game that was banned off Steam. It was called Hatred. Mm. It was this sadistic game where basically you just went around as a serial killer, just killed people. Yeah. And it was in the news so much and sh so often sales were through the roof yeah. because everyone was always talking about it. Mm. And, uh, you know, they, they, these, these people who attack those for, for streaming it or for buying it, you're still bringing it up. Like the best way. Well, the way... problem is like, let's, let's play some role play. Nathan. Okay. <laughs> let's pretend, uh, you are a crazy leftist trying to convince me not to get the game and i've never heard of it so let's okay. scene begins have you heard of hogwarts legacy hogwarts legacy yeah What's it, that? Is it, it, it a it's game by jk rowling um rowling. and she she's uh again what's, what's it about uh well it's in the harry potter universe oh i like harry potter i like yeah, but you, you shouldn't support it why not because it connects to jk rowling and her messages are problematic um and negative and awful and anything that you do that helps promote her work um, whether it's in Harry Potter or any of her other novels or books, then promotes her message as well. But I like Harry Potter. And yeah, but I like no, th games. there's negative messaging in there that you cannot participate in. Right. Okay. If you buy it or you, uh, you, you know, you stream it okay. or you watch anything on it or you support it in any way. Um, can I ask you a question then? Yes. How many genders are there? I think I'll get the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit spicy today. It's just oh, like we can get spicy. We just could be very careful. How we edit spice. this? In... How we edit this video? It's very important how you edit it. Oh, that was a spicy meatball title. Of... Oh no, we're doing the Italian stereotype. <laughs> Sorry, Yahoo. <laughs> and it's funny because he was the going back to the lead uh, producer. He was actually attacked for doing other things, like he. Um, so he used to work on the Disney Infinity Games, where basically where they got um, Disney franchises and made like levels out of them and stuff. Right. And his next one would have been The Last Jedi before the whole platform was like cancelled. Mm. And he made a video afterwards talking about what he would change in the script for fans to be more happy about it. Yeah. Well, and that was that was I something mean, that he got attacked for. To make The Last Jedi better. Wow. <laughs> that that was the thing. Like. I mean, I'd probably just burn it. Like. Exactly, but he was like, it was just small changes to the script to make things a bit more enjoyable for fans. Like again, this is what I'm talking about. They like, cancelled this person who was like, I'm just going to do a little bit of a change. I'm just, you know, I have a bit of a different opinion to you, yeah. although we're in the same team, basically. Yeah, basically. And and they just like, cut him out for it. Yeah, so this is one tweet here that I found that was kind of relevant to, you know, what we're saying before, I, I'm sure. It happens all the time with um people who... Uh, protest by putting like paint on a portrait that's famous or like they they yeah. vandalized um like a, a car um dealership like ferrari or something they like spray painted all across no, i didn't say that one. Oh, there, there was just dumb stuff like that uh i also remember there was a protest about oil companies and this person's oh, like again this is very like he said she said a solace on twitter one time so this is not a very good fact check segment here <laughs> But I remember someone was um, protesting about oil companies and whatever and how to, like awful they are for the environment. Who funds you guys? Uh, just donations from the public. LA-based Climate Emergency Fund donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to activists. Uh, they include uh, Jean-Paul Getty, whose oil dynasty made him a multi-billionaire. 
This isn't another one of your Discord conspiracies, is it, Nathan? I saw this one. I saw this one on Twitter, okay? Um, and I'm sure people watching can probably find it somewhere. Um, but, like, again, they they don't do their own thinking for them. They just follow the movement. Mm. And the same thing's going to happen here. Boycotting Harry Potter is not going to do anything for you or for your uh, ego, basically. A lot of it is very ego-driven. Well, they I feel better more, about themselves. I, but I think paying. it's more conform with what we think. So yeah. then we can feel more validated within our beliefs yeah. because as soon as people, normal people disagree with them, they feel like their beliefs are invalidated. They basically just want you to conform. Yeah. That's it. Don't buy the game because I feel personally offended if you do. And if you don't buy the game, then I hold some power over you. And it's like, that's very true. No, that's actually very true. Cause this is, I think things like this are going to get worse and worse. Like we're yeah. starting with the cultural things of saying, you know, if you don't go watch Black Panther and support it, then you're racist. And if you do, you also need to give that up so somebody else can watch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and so things are, I think, going to get worse and worse from here in terms of, you know, boycotting and, and basically yeah. trying to be, what, what would you call this? It's just uh, tribalism. Tribalism? Mob, men mob mentality. Mob That's all yeah, this yeah. is. Like, like it's starting right now with what? Movies, TVs, games. Eventually, it's gonna. It's it's turning into you know how you eat, what you eat, what you see, what you watch. Zibugs. How do you get to work? Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Yeah. Like it, it's gonna get to the point where it's like, what you're reading a book? Yeah. You you a tree was yeah, chopped tree, down for a that. A tree gave its life for that. Yeah. Go recycle it. Yeah. I value freedom too much. Yeah. To even give an inch. I'm not giving an inch. Yeah. I'm not giving an inch to what you want. It's not happening. Because, you know, they want, today it's you don't want to play this game. Tomorrow it could be we don't yeah. want you to breathe. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm i a very, 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 very much live and let live. But that's not what you're doing. Yeah. You are not letting me live how I want to live. So Now there's a problem. There's a problem here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's everything we've covered. Um, look, when the game does come out, we're giving it a little bit of time just to make sure that we weren't wrong and this game actually sucks and it's a buggy mess. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it's technically proficient technically before I buy good. it. Yeah. So I'm going to give it like six hours. And I'm going to look for the first, the yeah, very yeah, first yeah. gameplays of people. It and doesn't like, take long. Does actually. it work? Does it work? Okay, it works. <laughs> I'm buying it. And then I'm going to jump straight into it. So we're interested to know as well if you guys are interested in actually seeing proper game coverage. I know here on Night's Watch we get more political, culture-based stuff, but it would be fun. I know with Elden Ring, we played that for quite a bit back in the day. I think it'd be fun to do a bit of a playthrough just to, you know, see what all the fuss was about. I'm sure we'll have to cover it in terms of... Like post-launch stuff. Yeah, people losing their minds. Yeah. I'm sure that's going to happen. But I maybe people want to actually see some game stuff because it... Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a good game. <laughs> I don't want to... Please, please be good. <laughs> please be a good game. But... uh yeah, we'll definitely be covering it one way or another. I have no doubt that something is going to happen uh, as soon as it launches. So, yeah. I mean, there were tweets I saw where one person's like, I'm going to stand outside of GameStop and throw rocks at people. That's awesome, man. See, See you in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything. Um, and as always, stay on watch.